welcome to another edition of the Budicom Telecoms Files. This time I would like to discuss with you Australia's national broadband network where it's internationally leading developments around the globe. Australia has always been a leader that prompted the national debate on broadband and in 2007 the Rudd government was selected partly based on its election promise of the national broadband network. Stephen Conroy, the Minister for Broadband Communication and the Digital Economy, and that name tells you something, has shown vision and has absolutely taken international leadership on this matter. Since he became Shadow Minister back in 2004, I've been in contact with the Minister, and he was immediately able to grab the vision about the national broadband network, the trans sector sort of developments, that it's important for healthcare, education, and together with the industry, we formed some sort of an, an advisory group to the Minister on all sorts of issues in relation to the National Broadband Network. So we had a very close cooperation with the Minister in building up the strategy and the plans uh, for the National Broadband Network. So it was, didn't come as a surprise that when finally in 2009 the National Broadband Plan was launched, that it got widespread support from the industry, from business, from the community in large, there were some initial sort of uh, naysayers who said, ah, oh, you know, it's all too expensive, etc. But slowly, people start to understand the enormous social and economic benefits of uh, a national broadband network. Now, the plan from the minister involves a 90% fiber to the home network and the other 10% an equ equ equitable uh, wireless network. Open network and wholesale only. So, in other words, there will be plenty of competition on top of the, of the network. The reason for the delay was that Telstra, under its previous management, was absolutely dead against this plan. But in June 2009, new management uh, arrived at Telstra and they showed a very cooperative approach towards uh, the national policy on the National Broadband Network. Huge progress has been made since that time. Uh, the government set up NBN Co, the company that's rolling out uh, the infrastructure, and together with uh, the Industry Communications Alliance, they are working on architecture plans, design, wholesale plans, full of work where they very, are very cooperative with the industry. On the trans sector side, lots of things happening. Uh, there is a broadband plan for all schools in Australia. Every child in primary school gets a laptop, can take that laptop home, will be connected to the broadband network. And the government also announced the Smart Grid Smart City project, where it combines the national broadband with the smart grid developments in the electricity industry. And numerous plans in relation to e-health have been launched as well. The fact that it's so widespread supported in Australia is its key to success. Now the global focus is now on Australia, but it doesn't mean that there is a one-size-fits-all for a national broadband network. To the contrary, each country will have its own unique uh, development in that particular area. We already see that happening in New Zealand, in the United States, in several countries in, in Europe, in Singapore and Hong Kong. So we see various flavours but in the end, it's all about providing national infrastructure for a range of applications that will provide enormous social and economic benefits. I hope you enjoyed this edition. Additional information will be provided at the end of this clip. And of course, I would very much welcome your comments and your discussion on topics like these. Thank you very much. See you next time.